Education and Feasibility. This is a part of the uh, Active at Home program from Ipswich Council. This is free for everyone. Uh, before we start, please get the clearance from your doctor before me performing the before performing the exercise. All right. So uh, before we start, um, I am quickly go to the uh, basic Pilates with you. So the first thing is your T zone. So when we when we talking about the T zone, means you draw the horizontal line between the two hip bones, and that's uh, represent your transverse abdominal. And the vertical line from your pubic bone all the way crossing. This uh, represent your pelvic floor, uh, pelvic floor muscles. So this T zone, when we say tighten the T zone, means you draw the two hip bones toward each other and lift your pel uh, pelvic floor all the way crossing. Tighten the T zone. We say uh, you are heard me say a lot during the class. And then then. The, another thing we were talking about, the spinal position. So now I will have you lie down on the back with me. So when you lie down on the back, if you put the heel of your hand on your hip bones, index fingers on your pubic bone, and then, then you lift the head, have a look. This diamond shape should be just parallel to the ground, and you should feel small gap underneath your lower back. The next thing we're talking about is your imprint spine. In print spine is when we using our abdominal muscle to draw our lower back towards the ground as far as you can without lifting your tailbone. And it's not necessary your lower back will touch the floor, but the very close. So now let's start the class. Bring your hand behind your head. Bending your knee, feet about your hip distance. On the next inhale, let's find your neutral spine, tighten your T-zone. Exhaling, let's bring your chest up, rip towards your head. Inhaling, slowly lower down. Exhaling up again. Take inhaling again. Exhaling up. And we're just repeating a few more rounds. All right, so this is your uh, abdominal curve. Beginner, you might be staying here. Advanced one, you can just lower halfway down and exhaling to come a little bit higher. So you don't need to have the break in between. And just a few more. And then if you do need the break, you can simply pressing your hand behind your neck or just uh, resting your head down, have a few breaths and then before you're ready to catch up again. Keep your neutral spine, tighten your T-zone. And take inhale in here, let's slowly release down. On the next one, we are moving to oblique curl. So let's just drop in your elbow again. Finding your neutral spine, tighten your T-zone. Exhaling, moving your right rib outside your left knee. Inhaling slowly back. Exhaling, left shoulder toward outside your right knee. Inhale back. Exhaling, twist. And again, few more rounds. So we are twisting from the rib cage. When you twist in towards your right, you are bring your right shoulder blade away from the ground. When you twist in towards your left, you are moving your left shoulder away from the floor. You can stay in here to make it harder than on the next exhaling. You stay here and then maybe reach your arms out, exhaling to come a little bit higher, inhaling, release down, exhaling, twisting to the other side, reach your right arms out and then come a little bit higher and just repeating. We take the last ones in here and inhaling, let's slowly release down. And we're going to placing your arms down to the ground next to your body. So the next one, we are finding your imprint spine. So start to draw your belly button into your lower back as much as you can. And then slightly bring your pubic bone forward until your tailbone fully on the ground. Take an inhale in here to relax in your shoulder, tighten your T-zone. Inhale in to bring one leg to tabletop position and the other leg. So from here, we're going to tip the toes down to the ground as you exhale. 
Inhaling, coming back to the center. Exhaling, lower down. Inhale back. Exhaling down. And we'll just continue a few more from here. So this is training your lower abdominal. Right. You can keep it in here. If you bring your toes closer to the ground and closer to your hip, and it's easier. And to move in further away, it's harder. More advanced one, if you feel like you want to do both of your leg and you are welcome to do that. Keep your imprint spine, continue draw your belly into your lower back. Keep your shoulder relaxed. Tighten your T-zone. Take a last one in here. And exhaling, let's release them. All right. So let's just relax in your body a little bit. All right. And then just reset the body when you're ready. We are going to find in your um, imprint spine again. So let's just bring your leg to tabletop position. This time you're going to bring your hand behind your behind your head. Relaxing your shoulder, tighten your teeth on. On the next exhale, and let's bring your rib towards your hip. And we're going to extend one leg out to 45 degree. Take an inhale in here and we swap side. And we just keep going. All right, so we're moving towards the bicycle. So if this is too much for you, simply resting your head down and just doing on the leg. If that's fine with you, then you can bring your chest up. And you can also just lower the extending legs down to the ground to make it harder. All right, take the last one. And inhaling, coming back to the center, release your head down, relaxing your feet down. Take a breath, one or two here, just reset your body, release the muscle on your abdominal. When you're ready, we're going to come in again. So bring your hand behind your head, finding your imprint spine, tighten your teeth on, inhaling to bring your leg back to the tabletop position. On the next exhale, let's bring your chest up and extend the legs out to 45 degree. But this time you are twisting towards your right, coming to crisscross, inhaling, coming back to the center, exhaling, twisting to the bending knee, inhaling back, exhaling, twist, and just keep going. All right, so you don't want to rock in your pelvis from here, tighten your teeth on, keep your pelvis stay still. And you are twisting from your rib cage. Take the last one. And inhale and release down, release your feet down and arms next to your body. Take a breath, one or two in here. Relaxing your shoulders. On the next inhale, we're going to Keep your arms next to your body, and you might just bring your feet in closer to uh, your hip. When you're ready, tighten your teeth on. Neutral spine. Inhale in here to slowly draw your lower back touch the ground and floating your pelvis up. All right, so how far you want to travel just towards your, uh, your top of rib cage, so you don't want to go all the way to shoulder. Take an inhale in here and exhale. We're going to slowly lower it down from the top of a rib cage and go all the way slowly down towards your neutral spine. Inhaling again and exhaling to floating your pelvis up. Exhaling to release down. All right, so you want to move in slow. And every time when you're rising your pelvis, you want to keep your knee straight towards the front. Exhaling, lower down. Beginner staying here, more advanced one, we are adding the arm. So when you're floating your pelvis out, we are reach your arms back. Exhaling to slowly lower down. Inhaling up again. Exhaling, lower down. 
Take a last one, inhaling up here. And this time, we're just going to keep your heat stay in the air. And you can keep your arm behind your head or resting down next to your body. And we're going to open the knee. And then exhaling to bring them back. Inhaling open. Exhaling in. All right, I will just repeat a few more. And just keep your, keep your T-zone engaged. When you open the knee, you don't want to flick your feet. All right, so keep your inner foot pressing down. Take a last one. And inhaling, coming back to the center. And we're going to do small dip in here for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. Last ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. And we're going to slowly lower down and back to your neutral spine. Well done. And let's just grab your knee towards your chest. And maybe gently rocking side to side. And when you're ready, we're going to slowly rolling yourself up, coming to seat position. So we're going to do one more curl from here. So you're going to place in your hand just behind your thigh. When you're ready, take an inhale in here to rolling your shoulders back, opening your heart. Exhaling, begin to round in your spine and draw, lean back, and let your lower back very touch the floor for two, three, four. And exhaling, three, two, one. And we'll just keep going, inhaling here, exhaling, one, two, three, four. Exhaling, four, three, two, one. One and continually. So begin and keep staying in here. More advanced one. We are going a little bit further down to eight. So inhaling here, exhaling. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Slowly lower down and exhaling. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. One more time. Inhale, exhaling. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Slowly lower down. Exhaling. Seven, eight, uh, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And we're going to crossing your leg and coming to all four position. All right, so we are moving to the arms now. So let's just come into all four. Placing your hands underneath your shoulder and let's move in your knee just slightly behind your hip. Pressing your fingers into the ground as well as pressing your inner hand down. When you're ready, we're going to stay here for plant pose health variation. Keep your arms strong, draw your belly up, and looking straight down. You might stay in here, more advanced one, you straight your left leg back and right knee up and come into full plank. All right, so pressing your hands down, lifting your belly, lifting your head, lifting your thigh, keep your legs strong. And just remember to breathe in through your nose and breathe out from your mouth. We take a final breath in here. Exhaling, we're going to drop your knees down. All right, and moving to the push up now. So we're going to keep your hand in the same place. But this time, as you inhale in here, we're going to lower it down for one, two, three. Hugging your elbows in and exhaling to straight arm. And we're just repeating a few more. Inhaling for one. Two, three, 
exhaling to straight arm. Remember, when you're doing this push up, you want to keep your belly chest lower together. And even you can only stay, maybe lower down 10 degrees, maybe go a little bit further and straight your arm, exhale. And just doing a few more. And maybe try the minimum for five and the maximum you can just go as far as you can. Take the last ones in here. And exhaling straight arm. And we're going to come into the child pose for a very short period of time. So let's just bring your big toes touch, knees wider, and just allow your arm to stretch in forward. And push your hip towards the heel. And we take this opportunity to find in your breath as well. We take the last one. And inhaling, we're going to come in forward. All right, and we're going to slowly lower down onto your belly. All right, this time, you're going to just straight the legs. So point the toes back, lengthening the tailbone towards the heel. So lay your pubic bone gently pressing into the ground. That's your neutral spine. And we're going to keep your arm next to your body like a cat hose. Okay, keep your forehead on the floor. Take an inhale in here. You're going to bring your chest up, moving your shoulder blade down towards the heel. Exhaling, lower down. Inhaling up again, looking straight down, feel your upper back muscle. Exhaling, lower down, and repeating a few more. Beginner, you can stay in here, more advanced one. You are welcome to bring your arms away and chest away. But remember to move in your shoulder blade down when you're doing this. Take the last one. And exhaling, let's gently release. And we're going to bring your hand coming in front of your forehead, make a pillow. And moving towards your leg. Finding your neutral spine by lengthening the tailbone back. On the next inhaling, you're going to bring your left legs up. Exhaling, lower down. Inhaling, right legs up. Exhaling, lower down. And we're just repeating a few more. All right, keep your upper body relaxed. Beginner staying here, more advanced one, you can do in both of your legs together. All right, try to keep the rest of the body stay still. Take the last one. And we are coming back to the center. On the next one, you're going to stretch both of your arms forward. And this time we are just going to move in the opposite arm, opposite leg. So take an inhale in here. Let's bring your left arm, right legs up. Exhale in lower down. Inhale, right arm, left leg. And lower down. And just repeating. You can keep your forehead on the ground, or when you're ready, you can bring your chest up. Take the last one. And exhaling, let's release down. Let's just bring your hand back to the rib and slowly pressing yourself back to child pose for a few breaths. And take an inhaling in the bottom and exhaling to slowly rolling yourself up. 
and then we're going to move in your uh, step the right foot forward and we're moving to the pigeon pose so the option one, you can come into your normal pigeon pose and so walking your right foot towards your left hand and landing on your right butt. Moving the back legs in and when you feel the stretching, just coming from your outer right hip and then take an inhale in here and exhale in to begin to bow forward for a few breaths. Uh, you can make it your hand like a pillow, just a few breaths, relaxing your shoulders. And to go deeper stretching, you might just walk your arm forward and lay your heart melt down to the ground. Take a one more breath and exhale and let's walk in your hands back and we slowly bring your right leg back and left leg forward. And same thing we do, once you feel the stretching then you can begin to bow forward. However, if this position is hurting your knee and I'll give you option to do, you can lie down on your back. Bending your knee and just bring your left foot on your right ankle. And just really push your left side away from your chest. Maybe stay here, maybe to draw your right knee into your heart, but keep your shoulder relaxing down and finding your neutral spine. Take a one more breath in here. Exhale and let's gently release. And we're going to, if you lie down on the ground, let's just slowly back to the seat position. And we're going to straight the both of your legs out. And take an inhale in here. We're going to draw your left knee into your heart. Bring your left hand behind your hip. Take an inhale in here to bring your right arms up. Exhale, we're going to hug in your left knee into your heart and twisting towards your bending knee. You might look in towards your left shoulders or look in somewhere you feel comfortable. Take one more breath in here and exhale. Let's look forward, release your arms and straight your left legs out. Inhale to draw your right knee in. Right arm behind your head, left arm stretching up. Exhale to twisting towards your right. Looking at somewhere that you feel comfortable. Take one more breath in here. Exhale to look forward and gently release. And we're going to stretch both of your legs out now. And take an inhale in here. Let's stretch in your arms out. Exhale, let's bow forward. All right, so for this one, you can just go ahead relaxing your shoulders, your arms. You don't have to grab your toes. If your hamstring is tight, you can just lift the knee a little bit to make it easier. Make this effortless stretching. Let the gravity do the work. And take one more breath in here. And the next exhale, and let's just slowly rolling yourself up. And then we're going to draw your soul together. 
take an inhaling here and let's just grab your feet from here and then inhaling and exhaling we're going to bow forward you can use your elbow to push your shin down Take a last breath. Inhaling, let you slowly release down. And we're going to bring your head outside your knee and just gently bring your knee toward each other. And we're going to crossing our leg and slowly coming onto your knee. All right, the last stretch we're going to do, we're going to bring your right foot coming forward. All right. And we're going to, for this one, we're going to tuck in the tailbone in as much as you can. And once you have that, you're going to slowly sink your head down. So you will feel finding some gentle stretching just down towards your left hand side of your hip. You can just place in your hands on the leg or just whatever feel comfortable for you for a few breaths. Take a one more breath in here and we're going to slowly release and bring your right leg back and left foot forward and come into lunge. And take an inhale in here, let's tuck in the tailbone in as much as you can and slowly sink your head down. And you will feel that sound gentle stretching coming from your right hip. I know that's what I've been doing with them. Thank you though. <laughs> And take one more breath in here. And we are going to gently release. And we're going to using your, put your hands on the ground and just bring your back foot coming forward. And we're going to just bow forward a little bit deeper and maybe holding your opposite arm. Just lay your body swimming here. Soften your knee. And then we're coming back to the center, release your arm, inhaling in the bottom, exhaling, we're going to slowly rolling yourself up. So we're coming one vertebrae at a time, bring your tailbone forward and slowly rolling yourself up until you're standing very tall, opening your heart. Take an inhaling here, exhaling to bring your chins in and slowly rolling down. All right, think about you are peeling from the wall and you're moving very slow. And one more time, breathing in the bottom and exhaling to rolling up. Last one, inhaling, exhaling, chins in. And exhaling, rolling up. And the last time, when you all the way coming to standing, you're going to stretch in your arms overhead. Maybe look up. Exhaling to coming down. And one more time, inhaling, on stretching up. Exhaling down. Last one, inhale. Enjoy your hand together and come into heart center. Hope you enjoy the class. For more exclusive content, please subscribe the Active and Healthy Online. Thank you for joining me.